Hey friends, I'm Rhiannon from Drawn by Rhiannon and today I'm putting the files together for my first lab recorder of the year. So when I order my fabric, instead of getting just a whole metre of the same print, what I do is size out each item, then put that on the metre of fabric as the size that it's already going to be. So the reason I do this is basically just to stop wastage. It's good to be able to scale the print for different items. And also it saves fabric because everything is the exact size it needs to be. And I arrange it on the metre of fabric so that nothing's wasted. So it works out well. So we're not wasting fabric, which is obviously good for the environment. And it's good for me because I don't waste any money either. So today I'm just putting the files together to arrange it all. I'm going to send it off to get it printed. Usually I get my fabric printed by a local company just down the road. But today I just need to get a few metres printed. So I'm actually sending it off to a company in London because they do smaller print runs than my local printer can do. So let's get started. This fabric order is for a new stockist that I'm working with. So it's for a lovely gift shop in Glasgow called Hatch. And um, Jessica, the owner, has requested pencil cases and reusable cleaning wipes. So what I'm doing first of all is just sizing up the pencil cases. So I have to I have a little template for the pencil cases so it's the right size. And then I just have to add the print to it. I've got little guides that tell me where the sewing line is going to be so that I can picture exactly what the pencil case is going to look like when it's finished. So I'm just sizing the print so that it's in the area um, that I want it to be so that when it's sewn that's the bit that's going to be seen. Then when I've got the template ready I drag it onto a really big file which is it's literally a metre file. So it's 140 centimetres wide and a metre long and I drag all of the pieces into there and literally arrange it on the metre of fabric. So I'm just doing the same here again with the turtles, except turtles are slightly different because it is a random repeat pattern, so there's not like a right way up for it. So with the beach huts, I have to do one side and then flip it around to the other side so that the beach huts aren't the wrong way up on one side of the pencil case. Whereas with the turtles, with it being a random repeat, you don't need to do that because there's not a right way up with it. Now this is the daisy one, so I haven't quite got around to transferring all of the print design files onto my new computer yet. So this is just me getting the print block and making it into a repeat. This is the finished print block, so then when I basically drag it onto something and click repeat, that will then repeat it across the whole piece of fabric, whatever size it is. So I'm just putting this on the pencil case template now so that we can arrange this and get it to the right size that I want for the pencil case. And then I'm picking the background colour. Um, I know it was a nice dark blue but I can't quite remember <laughs> what shade of blue it was so I might just have to go and grab it off the finished print design file where I've got it because it was a really particular blue that I think worked really well with it. I don't often do dark blue backgrounds but I think with the daisy it makes it like really pop and it took ages to get the right shade because I didn't want it like a like a really bold dark blue because then it sort of took away from the delicateness of the daisies so it was a very particular blue that I wanted for this so I just had to go and grab it off the original file. Okay so now I've got all of the files across that need to be for the wholesale order but I've still got a couple of gaps left on that meter of fabric so like I say we don't like wastage so I'm just going to fill it up with some pencil cases that are out of stock on my website so I'm just going back to a previous file from last year when I printed some pencil cases because I've already got the right size for them there so I'm just dragging it from that file into the new file so that I can get these new pencil cases printed and get them restocked on the website. There's still a couple more spaces so what I'm doing is just having a think about which are the most popular pencil cases and just making a couple of duplicates of that so that if I sell them out online or at a craft market then I've got another one ready to go. I noticed that I was running low on a couple of the makeup pads so I thought I would just order some more of these while I'm putting a fabric order in. So I'm just going through my website to have a look, see what the stock levels are like, see what I need to reorder. Then I go into a file on my computer where I've got one of each of the makeup pads stored so that when I'm getting more printed I can literally just drag it straight across onto the new file. So it took a little time to put it together but it saved me so much time now so I'm very grateful to my uh, previous self for doing that. I'm just grabbing the ones that are either low on stock or I know are popular and going to run out soon 
so that I've got a nice full stock on the website and for when I can get back to doing more kits as well. So that's it, first fabric order of the year is in. I'm excited to get that back. Um, I've included a couple of the new prints, so I'm excited to see those on fabric. It's always brilliant seeing them printed out for the first time. Um, I noticed that the fabric price has gone up this year. They tend to go up every January, so I wasn't too surprised by that. But the postage prices have gone up so much, I wasn't ready for that. So that's um, not ideal. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I need to contact my local fabric printer as well to see if he's put his prices up. Um, I did have to adjust some of my prices at the start of this year just because I wasn't really making enough money on them because fabric price is going up. So yeah, I'm just reviewing that all the time. Um, at the end of the day, it's my job. I've got to make a living from it. So I've just got to keep making sure that my price is where they need to be. Yeah, not a very exciting part of the job. It involves a lot of spreadsheets, a lot of maths, which is really not my forte, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. So in other exciting news, I have booked my first market for the year. So I don't know if you noticed from me going on about this all the time on social media, but I really missed markets last year. Like it's really great just to get out and actually talk to customers because the problem with having an online business is that you're just sat behind a computer all the time and like sending things out into the world. And sometimes you get messages from people or they leave reviews or something, which is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much if you are the kind of person who messages a small business owner to say that you've received your parcel and you enjoyed it. Or if you leave a review, honestly, you are wonderful people for doing that. Um, but when you get to a market and you get to just chat to customers and just get their feedback and see what, just have a chat. I like it can be quite lonely when you're working on your own from home all the time so it's really nice to get out there and interact with people and um, it's also lovely meeting other store holders as well a lot of my friends from the northeast are people that i've met at markets so i'm really looking forward to getting back into that the market that i've got booked is the craft and flea so i've done a couple of their events before they're brilliant events really well organized and there's always amazing store holders there so i'm really excited for it so it is on <laughs> i don't know what date it is <laughs> This is a really good promo for us, isn't it? So it's on Sunday the 18th of April in Newcastle Civic Centre. So it's a really big venue, so they're going to be able to space the tables out really well. I think you need to buy your ticket before you go so that they can limit the amount of people that are coming in at a time, just to obviously allow for social distancing and everything. Um, I don't know if it's going to go ahead, fingers crossed it will, but I mean, things are just changing all the time at the moment so i don't know what it's going to be like by april but i will keep you updated um if it does get cancelled then they're really good at just putting you onto the next market so i will at some point this year hopefully be at newcastle civic center for the craft and flea hopefully in april but we'll see how it goes but as it stands at the moment i am booked in for that market so very excited for that so what i'm going to be doing at the moment is just building up stock um, I've got a lot of fabric here, but a lot of it is not made because what I've been doing is just when someone orders it off the website, I've just been making it to order. Um, just before Christmas, I ordered so much fabric. I think I had, at one point, I had about 30 metres of fabric hanging around the studio. So um, I just did not have a chance to go through all of that and make it into things. So um, yeah, so on the website it looks like I've got a lot of stuff in stock, but if you uh, have a look on my shelves back there, there's not actually a lot made up. So I need to get cracking with making all of that stock into real things that I can actually sell on the day. I've also been researching for a new label supplier. So everything that I make has got a little label sewn into it, but the current supplier I have, it's a bit hit and miss. Like every time I get an order from them, it's slightly different. So I just want a kind of consistent look across all my products. So I found a few different companies that I think might be suitable. So I'm just getting samples from them. Um, so hopefully I will have some new labels soon. So I think that's everything that's happening in the studio at the moment really. Um, I've got some speakers for my new computer that are supposed to be coming, well, they were supposed to come last week, but they've got all stuck in the postal system and they're currently in Barcelona. So I'm hoping by the time that this video is re released that I do actually have the speakers, because if not, then they have disappeared. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm really excited for those to arrive um, so that I can listen to some tunes while I'm working. Uh, the speakers in my computer are shocking. They like have it on full volume and I can barely hear it. So yeah, really excited. Um, I don't know about you, but I literally can't work without music. Like I just can't work in silence. 
so I'm really excited to have some speakers for that. I've also got a delivery coming this week from EcoCraft. So if you never heard of them, they are a company, you know, an eco company as it suggests, um, of craft supplies and packaging and stuff like that. Um, really great range of stuff and really well priced as well. So I've got some more tape and some more packaging supplies coming from them soon. Um, I'm trying to get into the habit of ordering packaging supplies before they run out so that I don't have a mad panic when someone orders something and I don't have anything to put in <laughs> or to tape up with. So I'm trying to be more organised this year. So that should be arriving any day now. I've just had an email to say that's been dispatched. So um, yeah, exciting things as a small business owner, being excited about tape arriving. But <laughs> I've got it in different sizes this time, which again, now I'm saying it out loud, does sound very boring, but it is exciting to have different widths of tape. If there's any other small business people, if you can just comment down below to agree that you get excited about really boring stuff like this, just <laughs> so I don't feel like ridiculously boring. But um, yeah, I'm excited for that coming. Just, I'm just trying to get everything sorted for when sort of lockdown is released a bit so that I'm not like running around trying to get things sorted when I'm really busy because now it's a quieter time of the year. I was like, let's just get things sorted now so we can get it ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and remember to subscribe to my video. I've got lots more videos coming up and I'm just going to be doing studio vlogs so you can just sort of keep up to date with what's going on in the studio. Remember to click the notification bell so that you'll be first to find out when I post a new video. I am trying to do it to a schedule but um, like I say I'm not the most organised person in the world so chances are they might come out at random times instead. But yeah I'm trying to schedule them so that they come out at 6 o'clock on Fridays. Um, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> depends what time this one comes out. Might be completely wrong already. So yeah, if you press the notification bell, then you will know when it comes out. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.